Guys, welcome back to another episode with AB Investments. And as promised, I said I was going to make a very short video later on. Uh, sorry, earlier, the my, you know, my phone died. Uh, so Tony got away. <laughs> um, but like I said, what, what can you expect for tomorrow uh, and what's to, to come? Well, right now, first of all, BBIG. BBIG just earned back what it lost from the sell-off that it they did yes, uh, on it yesterday and the day before yesterday. Um, that's how how much like six percent in the market, eight uh, percent in the market, and uh, six or eight percent in the market, and then now eleven to thirteen percent in the aftermarket. If you look at the movement that they had yesterday and the day before yesterday, you'll see that they gained their ground back. That's their game for now. From now until the eighteenth is to keep playing with uh, you guys and possibly I'm expecting around the 16th or the 17th. That's when they might say ah, and cough it out. Um, again, not financial advice, just uh, pure AB investment uh, opinion. Now back to our AMC. AMC, what I saw today was basically since the, act, the SSR rule was activated yesterday, today they themselves, the other side, knew that they're not going to short a stock down. Um, they were really brilliant with this move right here. Very, 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 very insidious. They laid out the, f the foundation yesterday to make sure you guys get a, uh, you know, a bull trap set up for SSR. Naturally, the price is going to go up because they're not going to short it while it's down by regulation they can't by by control um so they knew that by the price surging what they did is they personally went and bought so many contracts in uh that's right around the money or in the money or right above the money uh, i think all the way up to the 14 and a half um so since the price was in the upper nines to the bottom tens by the price surging up to uh you know, the 12s today, that all that action, IV action on the um, options that were all the way up to the 14 and a half were making money at some point. So what they did is they purchased a lot of shares or a lot of contracts right at the money, in the money, and just above out of the money, like four or five strikes above um, and made money on all those and sold all those basically on the uptick. So that way they're not shorting uh, the stock while it's down every time it goes up. That's when they cashed out all their options and basically sold. So it created sell pressure, keeping the price down after. It created a rug uh, for the bulls to go in as a trap. They pulled it, it screwed everybody up at the end because tomorrow I see them pulling out uh, maybe, maybe their puts little by little. And I can see a floor anywhere around $8. Believe it or not, guys, we might see the upper part of seven, uh, depending on how aggressive they get with it tomorrow. Um, I, I think that if the price drops from here on to somewhere in the eights, that they can possibly go ahead and sell off their uh, puts in the sevens and the sixes and the fives and with that being said, they could create the beginning of the turnaround of a bullish movement on the stocks starting at the end of next week, maybe the beginning of the week after. Um, this is this is this is very uh, very important. Let's see what happens. Uh, again, once again, guys, um, AB looks out for the family. So uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and like it so we can push it out to more and more people. If you um, are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as you will get by hitting the notification bell as well. You get this uh, either, either notifications for live or notifications for videos like this to come out so you could get stay updated. So again, once again, guys, this is not financial advice, just pure AV investments. So once again, much love, AV investments.